In this video, we're going to continue along with the orc object that we've been taking a look at in the previous three videos. Now, I mentioned that we would take a look at some of the global objects that JavaScript provides, but I still had a few more points that I wanted to make about objects, and our orc object will serve that purpose just fine. So we talked about in the last video how you can change the value of the properties inside your object. So we can switch the hair from green to purple, and if we run this, we get purple. But not only can we change the value of a property in an object, we can actually change the data type. Now you will remember there are three primary data types in JavaScript. There are strings, there are numbers, and there are booleans, the true or false. So as I said, we can actually change the data type in a property. So let's switch this from a string to a number. So we'll go ahead and set the value now to a number, of course, and of course it is going to be one. So let's go ahead and run this. And now we get a one. Now, what if you wanted to add a new property? Well, all you have to do again is specify the object and then the new property name, which in this case is going to be hair two. And we can do that as long as the property doesn't already exist inside of our object. And of course we don't have a hair two property, so we can go ahead and just add that down here. So let's go ahead and write out hair two. And we get red hair, which of course is what we set the value to. Now you can also delete a property by using the delete keyword. So again, we just specify delete and then our object and then the property we want to delete. So in this case, we're just going to delete our hair to property, which we just added right here. And so if we write this out, you'll see what happens now and we get undefined. Now you will get undefined if you try to write out a property that doesn't exist. That's actually what will be returned because of course now we don't have this property and so we can't possibly write out a value. So it comes back as undefined when JavaScript is unable to determine the value. Now we can also add a property without actually setting the value. So in this case, we're just adding hair too, so it would be added to our orc, but we didn't actually add a value to it. We could add the value at a later time. So let's go ahead and run this. And we get undefined once again, because once again, we didn't assign a value to this. We just added the property hair two to our orc object. Now, of course, once we add a value, we will be able to write out a value. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Now in the next video, we will get to global objects that JavaScript provides. And the first global object we'll look at is the string object.